My name's Andrew Laurie. I'm the owner of Sky Seafoods. We are robes only by lobster exporter. We are part of the wild caught fishery, and that ranges from trawling through to netting, uh, that set net, gill net. We actually set traps. Over the years, there's been many, many controls put on uh, put on the lobster industry. You know, like through buybacks, through pot reductions, through the quota, and then then the quota has been has been um, reduced over time, just to make sure that sustainable industry is, is is protected. And I think the fishermen do a great job. The majority of fishermen in our in our zone all day day trip. Uh, they head out anywhere from three o'clock to five o'clock in the morning home between 11 a.m. and probably 3 p.m. depending on how how deep they fish when they come back into the factory um, we then we then grade the lobster into into sizes because we sell to the overseas market in sizes 95 percent of our lobster go live export and of that live export 99 percent is to china we've had a free trade agreement to sign with china in the next three or four years we'll see a major impact in terms of where we can ship to in China direct. Uh, at the moment, we're using wholesalers who say tank in Shanghai or Shenzhen, and they've got the access themselves to those markets. With this free trade agreement, we'll be going direct to any city in China that we can access either directly or with an indirect flight through another city. It is difficult to produce in aquaculture and compete with the wild caught. There's no doubt about that. Using our aquaculture methodology, we can produce a very large quantity of finished product from a very small landmass. Around about 300 tonnes of produce from a two acre land base. One of the wonderful things about Barramundi is the enormous amount of eggs we can get from one spawning. Something like 10 million eggs from one spawning. Uh, that's incredible. If we were to go on to grow that 10 million eggs to uh, say one kilo fish, that's 10 million kilos of meat from one female spawning. Just unbelievable. Certainly, uh, a way to meet the needs of the world producing 50% more food by the year 2050. The huge volume that we can produce from one female, the relatively low food consumption, uh, 1.3 kilos of food to one kilo of body weight, even less than that in uh, the pristine uh, hatchery environment, make barramundi fish farming a way of food production of the future. At Robe, we're fortunate that we have hot artesian water that comes out of this bore uh, at 30.2 degrees. We need 28 degrees to raise a tropical fish. By the time it's jetted into the tanks, that's perfect. So we have all year round growth as opposed to in the wild only growth uh, for about five to six months of the year. We use every drop of the nutrient rich water that comes out of our fish farms. And that's not very common in other types of fish farming like the fish farming in the sea, in rivers, in dams, etc. This water, nutrient rich water is not utilised. It's a big, big plus for the future and particularly a water that's coming from hot artesian uh, basins which is not drawing on our existing resources. And that's the sort of things that we're trying to achieve because going forward, energy, land masses are, are going to be a, a distinct problem to food production and uh, we're conscious of that, very, very conscious of it.